In this episode of Mighty Car Mods, we get another mirror to shove our other mirror in. Two mirrors. Two. Welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods where we have bought yet another mirror. That's right, there is two of them. Now, why would you need two mirrors other than needing twice as much madness as one? Well, that is, quick recap, is that we've just brought in a car from Japan and by just brought it in, it's been a couple of years it's taken to get this process underway. The car has been chopped in half because it's not on the Australian list of allowable cars to bring into the country, so it's been brought in as spare parts. It's been chopped in half. It's been sent to Australia on a boat, wrapped up, delivered to us on a pallet. So how do we get all the goodness actually rolling on the street, Martin? Well, we can't weld the two halves back together. It's not a thing. It may be possible, but for this particular car, we're not going to do it. I don't think we're ever going to do that. Uh, and the shell's a bit rusty anyway, so there's a whole bunch of work that needs to happen there too. We wanted to find the cleanest possible Australian delivered mirror that we could, and I think we may have. So when you buy a car in Japan and you cut it in half to ship it back to Australia, it's actually illegal just to weld it back together once it gets here and drive it on the street. So in order to get this project happening, we had to find ourselves a local shell, which is why I spotted this thing in Melbourne, got it sent home, and we have this. This is a 1992 Daihatsu Mira. This one is Australian delivered, and unlike its Japanese counterpart, which is now sitting in two halves next to it, it is as base model as they come. Despite sharing the same basic body shell, the feature list is wildly different. And while both might get you to the shops, the little white one isn't going to handle a blizzard and icy roads nearly as well as the four-wheel drive JDM model. If we're successful, we'll soon have the best of both worlds. Now we've got a solid base to build off that is the perfect home for the Little Mirror's new JDM heart. Hello mate. How you doing? What a nugget. I know. Us and our nuggets. Yeah, on a mad Sunday drive in the bush. You and I are the Colonel Sanders of the car world. With nuggets left, right and centre. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's true. Usually dripping in sauce. Yeah. There's not, a lot of people say about these cars that there isn't much shoulder room going on. There's you, enough. You do get, I mean there's enough. I mean a millimetre is the same as a mile in, in that way, isn't it? I mean it's, you're not touching. There's enough room though, we're tall dudes, we're almost like 190 centimetres. Yeah. And we're not touching each other. And this is officially K-Car man, this, with this size engine. That's amazing. I don't think it will be once I'm finished with it, but it is for now. Of course it's not going to be. It's not called Mighty Keep the Car the Same mods, is it? Exactly. Full power. That's flat. Yeah, we got, we got to 30 k's an hour flat and stick. It was 25, but thanks for the exaggeration. I'm exaggerating it to try and make, <laughs> try and make, car seem try and make it seem more exciting. Yeah, man. But there's nothing in its current form that can make it seem more exciting. But it does exactly what it says it's going to do on the packet. Yeah. Which it, is not a whole lot and everything at the same time. It's it, a conundrum It gets you philosophical proportions. It gets you where you need to be affordably, efficiently. I'm not going to say safely. I wouldn't want to go up against this at 200 k's an hour against a brick wall or something, but we're just putting around the city and doing what we're doing now, and this is about as far from the city as it gets. Amazing. It's perfect. It's great. I mean, we're in a 40 kilometer an hour zone, which is great because that's this vehicle's top speed, <laughs> which is just amazing. Without it overheating, correct. What's that smell though? Oil. It is oil? That okay. engine's not that happy, hey. Okay, cool. It's really not. Oh, right. Good. So this is an Australian delivered, but still JDM, if that's even possible. No. It's a Japanese made, Kinda. Australian delivered Daihatsu L201 Mira, which means made in Japan, exported to Australia, take all the good stuff out of it. Like, like they the always do. <laughs> and the all drive system and everything that makes it cool. But it's still a really, really nice car. I've actually, what I didn't tell you is that I've actually already bought two others of these. Two others of this? Of this exact car. 
two others, so there's three. So we've been trying to do this project for ages, right? And people yes. keep saying, when's it going to happen, when's it going to happen? And I've been saying, it's going to happen soon because I keep buying these things. They're only a couple hundred bucks usually. Why and do I you go keep through, buying them? Because I go through it because I want to find a really nice one and I go through it and then I find rust or I find it's been crashed really badly or it's not even able to be registered okay. and then it goes to the scrap. And you've just been keeping this and to yourself like a dodgy gambler who doesn't tell people they've been smashing the pokies. You've much. been buying crappy little cars without telling anyone about it. Pretty much. But then this one popped up in Melbourne. This is clean. Yeah, this is this clean. This is clean, man. So this was, this was basically sight unseen and then when it got here and I popped the bonnet and I realised it's got the injected three cylinder in it which means the shell is as close as it's going to get to the JDM car because obviously you want to make it as easy as you possibly can. Yeah. Most of the stuff from the JDM one should bolt in. Oh, it's clean! So injected three-cylinder. So that's a 660-something cc three-cylinder. Three cylinders of fury, Martin. It's the best one that we ever got. Like, they came out with carbies for a long time, single-barrel carbies. The Australian ones and some European ones were like 800-something cc. Still three-cylinder. But this is the best possible chassis to use for the conversion that we're going to do. You done the oil already? Uh, no. It's fresh. Um, this is as close as it's going to get for the conversion. It's only a little bit stinky. It's got like minimal rust in it. And these things, these things were cheap when they came out. How many Ks has this done? It looks amazing. Like, like 110? It actually looks amazing. Yeah, it's, it's low Ks. And it's been loved. Like someone has actually put it in a garage, I'm pretty sure. But this is the best one I've been able to find. I've been looking for years, years and years and years to find the right car. Awesome. Um, and I found it, which is exciting. But there's not going to be a lot of this left. Because most of the stuff from the half cut should fit. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to fit. Because this will become... Replica's not the right word, because this, this will be a remake of the mirror from Japan. Exactly. Anything that fits from that mirror will go into this. We're talking door trims, doors, wings, bonnets, guards, bumpers, lights, everything. bumpers, it, the wiring, like the lot. Far so out. It is a, it's a big job, but it's going to be a forever car, so I wanted the right car to start it with. And I think I found it. Can we please start right now? you this excited is, about ripping it apart? This is amazing. I reckon we could lift that engine out just by hand. This is just, this is amazing. I mean, you've bought a lot of crappy cars. Like, this Dude, is I wear, I wear t-shirts of the cars that I bought that are crappy. This is true. But this is the best crap car you've ever bought. Oh, really? You, how much was it? A thousand bucks. Amazing. The first stop for this three-cylinder front-wheel drive nugget of fury was the dyno. Dale at Castlewell Performance wasn't even sure if the car would fit on, but he was pretty certain it would not be setting any records. This will serve as a baseline to make sure we aren't going backwards when we start swapping engines and drive lines. Dale. Yeah, mate. Is this the biggest slash most powerful car you've ever had on your dyno? Mate, I'm concerned about how much power this car's going to make. I don't know. I reckon 28. Have you ever dynoed a stock mirror before? I've never dynoed a three-cylinder ever. Oh, no three-cylinders ever? No, never. This is first. First. A day of first. Looking forward to it. You know what's crazy is there's going to be a time in the future where you're <laughs> going to see this car again where it's going to be fast. Do you want to say anything to your future self? If it makes 138, then I'll be happy. Okay, so we need an extra 100. 100. 100 horsepower. All right. I'm Just concerned that the dyno is going to get short enough for it <laughs> to um, actually fit next time. <laughs> Mate, Did we make it? Yeah, you're in. Okay, so we can go all drive then? Yep, easy. Yeah, today. Interesting to know how many kilowatts we've lost in the last 20, 25 years. What, what did it uh, come from the factory with? I have no idea. I'd say, I think the legal amount was like 40 kilowatts or something. 47 kilowatts was a government mandated maximum. So 40 at the fly, 30 at the wheel. Let's see what happens. Oh, 30. Might chuck a rod. Here we go. Seventeen kilowatts. <laughs> Seventeen. So my twenty-eight horsepower guess is probably pretty close to the money, I reckon. Wow. <laughs> Seventeen kilowatts. It doesn't smell too good, does it? Does it even drive like when you? Yeah, sort of. Let's try again. It smells a bit oily, doesn't it? Let's go again and see what it gets hot too sometimes. It's going to make a bit more this time. Might crack 20. 18. 19. 19.1. 
didn't even make 20 kilowatts. Uh, it'll, do, it'll do the 20 on the third. Oh, so we're going for three power runs? Yeah, we'll let it cool for a little bit. Mm -hmm. oh, let's go. You guessed 28 horsepower. 28 horsepower. That was a good guess. <laughs> we weren't expecting great things from the tired little naturally aspirated three banger, and we weren't disappointed. The drive home would be the last time the little mirror would be turboless. The road to boost is long, the obstacles can be large and frequent, but with some time, some tools, and some mates, we reckon it is very achievable. So now that we have our half cuts and our car, next time on Mighty Car Mods, it's time to start pulling both apart. So you actually bought three? I bought three. This has been going on for years. This has been going on for years. I bought one that was just, I, I, I thought it was great. It looked great in the photos and I got so it and like this up. was terrible, straight to the tip. Then I bought another one that did manage to drive it around for a while. It was carby, it was really rough. The closer I looked, I realized it had been in at least one fairly major smash. No, it's now, exactly what I said. You're smashing pokies on the slide. That's what it's like. Any smash in a mirror crazy. is generally bad. <laughs> so um, that, one, that one went. And then I had a, a, a save search on that I was checking every single day for literally over a year. And then this thing popped up and I mirror, went, and mirror, I went, mirror. this looks incredible. And a thousand dollars later. So next week, of course, the real work begins and that is getting the good mirror and putting it in the bad mirror. The good one being the Japanese one. It's not actually a bad mirror, but of course, what we're gonna do, which I think is really interesting, is we've got two versions of the exact same car. We've got a Japanese one, we've got an Australian one. We're gonna be pulling them apart and we're gonna be combining them like Voltron, of course. But as we do it, Martin, we're gonna be comparing the different parts so we can see what Japan got versus Australia. It's a sociological experiment. It is, and that'll be coming at you in the very, very near future. So keep your eyeballs on our faceballs, which is faceballs.com forward slash mighty car mods for all Mad Mirror related and other car related updates. And of course, you can actually grab Mighty Mod stuff, help support the show, and we'll ship it anywhere in the world, right to your doorstep. We've sent stuff to Afghanistan, we've sent stuff to Antarctica, we've sent stuff absolutely everywhere. You can get t-shirts, you can get flags, you can get the music from the show, you can get key tags, lanyards, all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, it all helps, so thank you very much. You can get that stuff from MightyCarMods.com. There it is. Have an amazing day. I'm off to munch on some goji berry, or oh. uh, maybe even an Asahi bowl, which is like an Asahi bowl, but looks like a balls, and it's in a little sack of a bowl, and you munch on it all day, because it's delicious. It tastes like. <laughs>